<clears throat> hey guys, this is Dave Gonzalez, and this is a review on the Pache Millennium Gun. It is the bottom feed airbrush. I bought a few of these, actually. I'll show you right here. Um, so I got about uh, 10 to 12 or something like that. I bought them from um, Pache Company, uh, Chicago Airbrush Supply. And um, they're pretty cool. I like them. And this is kind of my review on them. So I pretty much got... Just let me show you my setup real fast. It's... Um, each airbrush is a is a, you know a different color. Crap, and that happened. A lot thinner. So like the barrels of them, you check right here, are pretty thin. So it's pretty cool, and I like holding it better. Um, so the review of them pretty much is what I like about these things is that um, they're super cheap, and that's why I got them. I didn't get them to like paint like detailed portraits. I got them so I can make a lot of T-shirts and do them more efficiently. So if you see, every one has like a different color to it. Red, orange, you know, purple. And that way, you know, I can like switch colors super fast. And more importantly though, um, I can switch to a color and it's not diluted. It's not like, you know, ha you know, it's not black and then I add, you know, aqua in there and then it's like an aqua black. It's just pure aqua to come up really bright. Um, the triggers are kind of not, you know, they're not that smooth, which I don't, whatever. It's, the airbrush is 40 bucks. So, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, so you can use like, um, like super lube or uh pache, like, like lubricant or whatever it is, uh, airbrush, um, you know, makes it a lot better. So it's a pache gun. Um, it shoots great. I mean, what it does, what it has is a... I'm holding this because my tripod broke, but I'll have it soon fixed. It has a .75 nozzle, so that means a lot of paint can come through here, like a lot of volume, you know. And well, that's good for t-shirts, specifically for... So all these quick disconnects on here, and it just connects like that. Snaps in, really cool, really easy. Before I airbrush anything, I check the, 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 the end of it, the needle, and I clean off all that dry paint because if there's paint on there, it's going to super suck, and you're not going to get any uh, paint out of there. So, let me fix that. That's the one thing I hate. It's kind of short, and to peel paint off of there, it's kind of, you know, not that great. It's kind of a pain. It hurts your fingers after a while. That's one thing that I don't like about it. Um, they have super thick needles, though, which is good. That means it doesn't break easily. And I'll do some lines. Thin ones, thick ones, thicker ones, thicker ones. I go back up here and do little thin ones. Turn it off. So, I mean, it has pretty decent lines, smooth lines. I can even get little, little, little itty bitty ones for 40 bucks. It's 40 bucks. Uh, and it, honestly, it does the same job that I would, you know, and Iwata Eclipses, you can do a lot of really good detail with an Iwata, but if you're just doing t-shirts and you're just trying to like find a, a cheap airbrush that you can use and have all these colors set up, I would definitely recommend that. So here's an eye. I'll do the other eye. I mean, if you have thousands, you know, like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars to get, you know, brand new Iwata, you can get those, but if you know, I got like 12 airbrushes for like 700 bucks, and that's an investment that's gonna last me forever. So, and look at that, I mean, I can, it's not bad, you know? And there's a t-shirt, and it's, it's great. So, I definitely, if you wanna do production and do a bunch of t-shirts and a bunch of uh, hats or whatever you're painting, I'll say get a bunch of these, cheap price, load them up. Um, and if you want to get like fine art detail, uh, go with the Waters, but Passion Millenniums, uh, they're good. They do the job. So, and for the price point, I definitely recommend them. All right, bye.